what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A couple of thieves tried to break into a house and received a little surprise. This surprise shook them so much that they broke for the border. I mean, they hauled ass up out of there. You should have saw them. I'll let you check out the video. What was it? What was it that shook them? Let's see. Did somebody come out with a gun busting? No. Were they attacked with a guy wearing a Jason mask and an ax? No. Did a couple of Somalian wrestlers come after them? Nope. These dudes took off running after some little damn poodle gave chase. A poodle. Listen, I'm not saying this to hurt anybody's feelings, but it's a poodle. You kick them like you would kick a football and you go on about your business. It's over. Now, having said that, I wouldn't advise anyone to kick a dog because I wouldn't advise you to be breaking into anybody's damn house. These were grown ass men still breaking into houses. Let me tell you something. Unless you know exactly what's on the other side of that door, breaking into somebody's house is really as juvenile as you can get. You don't know what's on the other side of that door. Most people are packing these days. So when you try to break into somebody's house, you're probably going to get lit up. If you try to come into my house while I'm in the house, I am going to light your ass up. And I'm good. I'm very, very handy with the tool. And I ain't got just one. I'm telling you, I think that's one of the most risky things to do is to try to break into somebody's house because you don't know what's on the other side of that door. For all you know, somebody could actually be watching you walk up to the door. Now, the woman had cameras and everything, so they'll probably even catch these fools. And that's another thing. A lot of people got cameras these days. So when you walk up to somebody's door, you can pretty much expect to be filmed. It's almost like people don't care if they get caught. Like, there used to be a time if you was going to do something, you know, you're going to commit a crime. The idea was to try to get away with the crime, right? It's like these fools don't even care. It's like they just want to commit the crime to say they did it. And they don't care about the consequences. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I'll tell you something else. Having said that, I'm speaking from experience. That is stupid. Man, I'm thinking the day, man. I was a wild boy. A wild boy. Go get it, come back with it. By the grace of God. I didn't get laid down. I'm telling you. But you know how they say desperate situations cause for desperate measures? It makes people desperate. And when you're desperate, that's really the time to fall back and think harder. Because you make a lot of mistakes when you're desperate. And the first mistake you make is you panic. 
and you do something without thinking things all the way through. So the next time you're in a situation where you find yourself desperate, don't do the first thing that comes to your mind. Because the first thing that comes to your mind, to your mind oftentimes is the quick lick, the easy fix. But the shortcut is in the work. The shortcut is in the work. These two dudes, I don't know where they come from, but let's just say they don't make them like they used to. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.